In that time, he's accrued more viewership on Twitch kind than of any up. other League of Legends streamer. He streams to almost 20,000 viewers each day, Indeed. around 50 hours a, a week, and has more than 2 million followers. Well, I got the battle Kinda right thing on there. Short return to the Rift in professional God, I gotta with skip Delta this Fox shit. Did I skip this? Should I skip this Delta Fox thing or listen to this? I'll let chat decide. Listen to it or skip it. Don't skip. Team. The team was comprised of five notable streaming oh, personalities and competed in the NA Challenger series as a subsidiary of LCS team Echo Fox. I'm a cutie pie, Skara, Dyrus, Voiboy, and Shifter made up a team full of old guard LCS pros who were apparently taking this project seriously. Look, you cannot you can't argue that the talent of those players Yeah, you wanna uh, go for this threat? <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna no way. <laughs> okay, that was awful. Uh, in the past, has been you know, it's been some of the you know some of the best players in the game. Now coming back together to dust off their their competitive uh, skills. Oh. Oh. Where's the jump? Oh, man. bop him! Woo! I can't watch oh, this shit, dude. Yeah, this one, man. And he's got to put this like stupid fucking music in the background for this shit. It's like some comedy fucking music. I hit him. Oh, nice. Okay. Why do you put? Why do you put the clip of us getting fucking shit on? I have to think that across the board, it it, it has reignited their competitive fire. Gar invade their jungle, dude. Do something. I need pressure. Fuck. God, these games are, uh, they're starting to come together a lot. Potential out on the rift. Yes. Cutie was even dethroned from his hard lock at the top of League of Legends independent streaming charts. Tyler One has been unbanned from the game and has made waves in his return to stream. Fuck Tyler One. On January 8th, Tyler One dismantled Faker's all time individual League of Legends streaming record with more than 380,000 concurrent viewers. He finished the month with more viewership than Cutie. Maybe Cutie could have Scam. continued playing pro and dominated LCS bot lanes like he always wanted. But his transition to streaming has definitely worked out well for him. The only thing we know for sure is that whatever choice was wisest, Cutie doesn't care. Ain't that the truth, dude? That's a good conclusion to that video. <laughs> You're dead, dude. You literally cannot move, Swain. I have grass. I'm insane. You're on my shroom. Running the game. It's the Teemo pain train. The boy's doing it again. Who is this kid? He's gonna die to Swain. I'm about to run away. I got Ori here. I'm gonna bait him with my grass. Undying. Back at it again. The kid genius. Bringing the paint. I'm making a rain. Stacking the money. I'm about to win this game. Carrying the fuckers on my team. And proving Twitch chat. I'm not lame. Do you watch TV shows like The Walking Dead or something? I did a while ago. Ah! You're so mad. You're fuming. Ah. Oh, look at that range. Please don't hurt me. That's a kill. That's a that's a kill. That's a. Are you kidding me? Are you ki are you kidding me? Yeah, okay, worth. TSM's favor when that happened. Exactly, and TSM matched topside mm -hmm. very early on, even though it was a losing lane, and said we're gonna play and use our mid lane here, our winning mid lane, yeah. to go topside, and that's what made the difference. And then this play happens, and it's just the semi global. The so realm warp comes through. Okay, oh, I'm not. This guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. You. Didn't dodge that on the slowest fucking discussion Dude, in the fucking, fucking game. I was fucking trying to stand raise. You just fucking game. Oh, baby, come on! What do you want from me? You're pissing hey, me. You're all right, Michael. Dude. You're right. No, I was so close, man.
Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Just like I said. Just like I said, as foretold. Give me that penta. I've still got a few seconds time. Shit, dude. Wait, wait, I've got no, I've got no pool. Oh, hell yeah! I got it? I think I did. Oh, wow, I did. Control ward put down to completely take over his nice outplay. Oh boy, just totally missing that one. And there it is, the second Q comes in. Cube getting that solo kill. Now Ruler might be in some trouble here. Has to flash, but look at that oh! damage. Faker gets everybody into the team. A huge play that should amount in a bunch of kills here. Gonna get one, and now Core JJ. Pretty draft on the end of it. The Blade Caller helps out. Faker picks up another I kill. I understand this this play on Shook, but what is this crystallized supposed to do? What is he doing that for? He's legit trolling. That is an accident. That is a misclick. That is, that is just... unintentional. Oh God. And unfortunately, the follow-up fight is messy. Now initially, I it thought Sweet going but... down looked okay. No. Momo, Momo. Aha, X. What? Haha! Just around the map. Oh my word. It's like a 3v1. Hi was just, or sorry, Bjergs is just standing there in front of the enemy. Almost takes down Hi by himself with a little bit of help from Mithy to get off. Oh my word! That's gonna be the kill on the contracts. They're still looking for Hi on the backside. Mithy getting a little too low as Hans starts to flank in. Mike Young just coming from behind the turret. They're gonna get a double kill for Bjergsen as now their eyes on the turret, but possibly. Oh my god, he put the fucking buff on me, dude. I can just wipe their team immediately here. I have a 100% crit chance, literally everything dies instantly. <laughs> better than you guys are predicting games. It's, it's a little bit of a, of a shame, but uh, let me run through the games real quick. Instantly call out who's going to win and get an easy five for five. First, Clutch will win. Second, Echo Fox will win. Third, Team Liquid will win. Fourth, well, <laughs> there's a bunch of Danes on it, so I gotta pick them. TSM, of course, will win. And the last game is the one I struggle with. This is the, the tough one. and. I think I might need some help, so uh, I'm gonna call my minion That's here for a fisher. second. That's the fish. Yes, yes. yes. That's the fish. Uh, Vedi, yes. tell me, tell me, who do you think will win? It's, it's optic, the fish. Optic. You think optic? Optic. optic Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, optic. okay. Leave again. Okay, leave okay, again. Okay, okay. For the last game, I am going with the CLG, and I'm gonna say they will win. And there you go, guys. Five for five. The superior analyst here to help you. Enjoy the show. And basically, enable this team. They've started Baron. It's being shredded down very, very quickly. Look out for the starting to back away. Prophet's ultimate interrupted by Blank's Where's the wall. confidence? By the way, I think he face planted into Blank's Geisler wall. Guys, gets range, but I doesn't listen. That's what I'm saying, dude. I think we all know why Lucian doesn't get range, though. I think we all know why. It's because he's been meta for too long before. It's not because he's black, so don't type that shit, you fucking idiots. Everybody that's watching on YouTube right now, if you're seeing this clip, I pented. As usual. This land is retarded.
Booyah! Pentakill!